Hi, I want to take a few minutes to show you a really valuable tool that you can use to easily, quickly, and cheaply find the people you need to conduct your marketing research. And the tool I want to show you is Amazon's Mechanical Turk. And I find it is my go-to resource when I want to gather some data from the general population. So let's see how easy this is to do. First, you need to go to the URL for MTurk, and that is at requester.mturk.com. And then once you're here, you'll need to create an account if you don't already have one. Uh, I already do, so I'll go ahead and sign in. And you log in here just with your Amazon account. So this is my ID and password. I sign in. And then once I'm here, I'm ready to create my project. So I want to do a new project. And the type that you will generally want to do is called a survey link. And what that means is you're going to give the Mechanical Turk worker a URL that your survey tool has generated. They will go to that URL, complete the survey, and then come back on the MTurk site and enter a survey code in the box here to let you know that they've completed it and that now they should be paid. So we'll create the survey link type. We create project. <clears throat> and then once we're here, it's just a few steps. First, we need to um, give some properties of our project, some general info. So first, we need a project name. I'm just going to call this MTurk Demo. The title of the project. So you want this to be uh, something that says what the title is about, but not too long. So I'll, I'll do one for a survey I ran called a dog owner survey. In the description, we want to tell them a little bit about what the study is going to do. So I generally give them a one line about um, what the survey is. So I said, this study asks about your dog and how you board it overnight. And then for this study, I only want dog owners to take it. So here's a place that I can say it is for dog owners only uh, and takes about five minutes. I always like to say how long it takes to, so they see that. For the keywords, uh, I tend to always include survey and online study and then something related to this survey. So here I might put um, dogs or pets. Maybe someone likes to complete surveys about pets. And so I would want those people certainly to take my survey. The next section, we need to give some information about um, how much we want to pay the people and how many people. So first, the reward per response. This is how much someone will be paid to take your survey. And so I tend to find for a five minute survey, 50 cents is adequate. Uh, for a longer survey, like a 10 minute survey, you're probably going to have to pay on the order of a dollar uh, to get people to take your survey. For number of respondents, I find a good rule of thumb for a lot of marketing research studies is 150 people is enough that um, if you don't find any effects with 150, it's probably not a really big effect. Um, but one important exception to be this would be if you're trying to do segmentation, then you would need sample sizes much larger than this, in the order of a thousand or more. For the time allotted per worker, the survey expire date, the auto approve, I just leave those as the default settings. For requiring workers to be masters, this is a category of MTurk worker that Amazon claims is better at taking surveys. Um, the research I've seen uh, does not support that, that they are worth the fee, so I would not pay it the extra fee and would just leave them as, as no, I don't need the masters. And then <clears throat> some additional qualifications we can put. Uh, you can do some targeted groups uh, like gender, age, and other things for extra fees, uh, but you can do some uh, criteria for free. And there's a few I think you want to do. I do it for every study. So one thing I usually do is, is try to limit it to just the U.S. So I do location is the United States. So we find in our scroll box, United States. You can also do states and others there as well. Um, I also add what's called the hit approval rate. This is how often the person has been approved to be paid for studies they've taken. So I want a high rate for this, so 95%. So that means most times, uh, overwhelmingly, when this person takes a survey, they are paid for it. They don't do uh, such a poor job that the person says don't pay them and rejects them. Um, and then the last criteria I put is number of hits approved. So this is how many studies they've taken over the years. And I usually do 100. So it's not a, a new person or a bot uh, or something strange 
uh, with them. And then the last thing on this page that we'll want to set is the task visibility. I usually put that to hidden, so only workers that meet those requirements above can see the task. Otherwise, there's no reason to really have them uh, there. Next, we need to go to the design layout. And so on this page, we're going to say what, it, what our screen is going to look like to the MTurk workers. <clears throat> and so you'll need to put your text describing your survey here. They have some example text. Um, I'll just fill in the text that, that I use uh, by pasting it, so you don't have to watch me type it. But it's very simple. I'll say below, you'll find a link to an online dog owner survey. Most people take about five minutes to complete it. When you've finished the survey, you will be given a six-digit number. You must enter it in the text box below the link to show that you have done the task. You must get the six-digit number correct to be paid for the hit. A hit is, is the assignment in MTurk. And also, this number is different for each person, so you cannot send anybody else the number. In reality, I don't make the number different for each person. Uh, I have tested uh, this to see if there's fraud. And I find generally the people that uh, enter the numbers do enter legitimate numbers, and they are indeed taking the surveys. They're not just trying to guess numbers um, or enter them. The next thing you want to do is paste the URL for your study in the link so the person uh, can click on it to go take your survey. Generally, if you're using a survey tool such as Qualtrics, it will give you this URL um, for your survey. Um, I have one on a site I do, and so I will type that in here org slash live slash dogs and do not enter anything in this box this is where the person taking the survey will enter their code when they're done i found if you edit that box sometimes it can confuse this template and it doesn't want to save so do not edit anything there just stay out of it um, next we'll want to preview our survey to make sure that it looks right and so here's what it will look like to the mturk worker um, you can click to expand to see our text or not. And then you'll want to check that this link does indeed um, take them to the survey uh, for that. So often we'll just copy the link and then go to a new tab and enter it just to make sure that it does pull up my survey correctly. And it does here. So I'm OK. And then, of course, the person will see this code. So again, the sequence will be the person clicks on the link to take the survey on your website. Once they're done with that survey, the last page of the survey should give them the code, and then they come back here and enter the code um, to get paid. And the MTurk people generally know the routine, so it shouldn't be a problem. And then once we have that, we can click Finish. So I've finished editing my survey, and now it is successfully saved. And when I'm ready to launch my survey, I just click Publish Batch, and then it will ask me for the payment information and other stuff. And once I've done that, uh, the study will go live and people will start taking my survey. And within minutes, um, you will start to have uh, your data. Hope that helps.